Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel and please if this is your first time kindly hit on that red icon to subscribe. Also touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now today's class we shall be looking at how to make a butterfly dress with round rope. I mean the rope will be passing through through the fryer under bust the front part to the back okay so we'll be learning how to um, make that today okay so here I have my fabric folded into four I'll be making it a seamless okay so I won't be open up, I, I won't open up the shoulder part okay so here you just have to calculate what you need both the shoulder and the sleeve length so here I have my 27 inches okay actually I want to use 26 inches but I will be making use of one inch to do the folding okay all right so here I have uh, 26 inches so just uh, plus and divide okay is that you do it from your sleeve length across the shoulder to the other sleeve to get what you want or the sleeve measurement plus the shoulder divide by two okay so the first thing we consider is our neckline I'm making use of a neckline of our four inches I'll be doing the back and the front the same. So I'll be using five inches. Okay. Okay, I just reduce it to three and a half because this is a net and it's very stretchy. So I'll be using three and a half and uh, I'll be using five inches. So I'll just connect those three and a half to those five inch. Three and a half and five inches. The back and the front will be the same. Okay, the next thing is to take, oh, it's supposed to be a half length, okay? But because this is a stretchy fabric, I'll be using the under bust, which is 15 inches. So here I'll mark my 15 inches. Then I'll take it straight. So this now will guide us where we'll be putting the, the fabric. We'll be attaching the fabric here where the rope will pass through. So just mark those 15 inches. Just take your under bust measurement. Okay, just take your under bust measurement and connect. I'm using the front part to take my measurement so that it will be easy for me to sew up together so what I want what I will be doing now is to take our our body measurement so here because of the rope that will be at the, the um, half length I'll be ma making use of our the highest part of the body which is the hip measurement okay and the hip i'm working with is 48 inches into four to give us 12 inches so here i will mark my 12 inches of course we'll be taking our shower okay here i will take my armhole measurement and the armhole i work with is a uh, nine inches so that when the thing drag uh it will not be too open to reveal the in inner wears okay all right so here i will mark my nine inch then here i'll measure my 12 inches i can just go ahead now and connect those 12 inch to the half length measurement so i'll just mark those 12 inches down to the hem line okay this is a three quarter uh, butterfly that i'm making so i'm making use of 26 inches for the length okay
keep next thing to do is for me to notch out the center part because it will serve as a guide for me to mark to the other parts okay so as you know i will go to the machine and stitch up this from here i will stitch this up i won't be stitching this down to the hemline because it will help me to sew inside because i'm sewing through the back part okay so i'll just come down like two inches so i'll first of all stitch up this from here to this point okay then later after fixing this i can now close it up okay so i'll just go ahead now to cut out my neckline Like as can as well notch out this at the center part. Okay. I'll just use my pin to hold this one up. just got an, I, I, an idea now since this is transparent I can as well just make my chalk to be visible just make it to be thicker so that it will come out to the other part so that when I open this up I can see the chalk at the other side okay so this is what I mean So as you can see, no need of me taking back another measurement. So I'll just trace this. Okay. So we just go to the machine now and stitch this out from here. But I, I hope you understood what I did. This is the center part. So if I don't mean you are made, you are working with a thicker fabric that the chalk won't uh, reflect to the back, just take back your measurements from the center part. Take back your 12 inches to this other side. Okay. Okay, we can as well just make a straight line at the center part. So make sure that you have 12 inches at each of the side. Here you have 12 inches and here you have 12 inches. Okay, all right. So we just go to the machine, shape out those parts. Okay, remember I said, let me mark my under busts which is 14 inches mark my 14 inches sorry my 15 inches so sorry 15 inches which is the under bust note i'm not using the half length the half length is 17 but i'm making use of 15 which is the under bust okay all right so i will stitch this out now from this armhole stop at this i came down by two inches after the half length okay all right okay here i have my i have a one and a half inches sorry two inches of a long fabric so this now i'll sew this inside 
it will be at the back i'll sew it at the back of this dress that's why i said i will just stop at this 16 inches so that it will help me to open up this part to make a stitch round it we will go to the machine so that it will be very clear enough for you so i just ironed it with a half an inch inside so i have only one inch this way okay so that it will be easy for me to stitch it out all right okay i've stitched out the the both side okay and i stopped at the 16 inches so i'll just go ahead now and tape the neckline with my bias okay okay after taping the mount now i'll go ahead now to insert the um the fabric that will be putting the rope that the rope will be passing through okay so what i will do now is to fold it into two then measure out uh, measure out the round um, waist which is a uh, what we use was 12 inches so 12 12 which is 24 inches so i'll just fold those into two now and make my 24 inches but first i will at the midpoint i will just make a uh, mark it with a chalk just to serve as a guide okay all right so i'll just come here now make my 24 inches so here is the 24 inches so i marked half inch so i'll just cut out this now because i'm going to be joining it Okay. So I just cut out the excess parts. I am not a princess. I am a woman. Okay. 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 Something just uh, on a circular form, so we can now go ahead now to attach it. Okay, starting from this, this is the inside of the fabric. Okay, so here we will start from this half part that we notched so that it will guide us properly. I'll just open up this one part of it and I'll place it at the edge of the fabric. Okay, when I sew to the other end of the dress, I will just uh, stitch it up. I'll hold it tight. Okay, I will hold it tight so that it won't loose then i'll cut the thread then fully it's up to the other side to sew to the other fabric okay so this is what i mean i will just take it i'll just take it up okay then find the way it stops i'm just trying to see it okay so i'll just continue my sewing this way by pushing this the the butterfly the excess out by putting it to the other side so that i will not stitch on top of it so i'll just put my machine put the fabric to the machine back i'll just push it back then follow my line and continue my stitching hope it's clear enough let me come in again so that you will understand better okay so this is what i have I'm trying to see the center okay so this is what i have okay this is one side done you know this is the back so the front now okay so this is the side 
I will try to push the bottom. Okay, so this is the both side. I'll just try to put my hand inside at the front part. Okay, so this is where we stitched and stopped. Yeah. So I'll just push this excess, the butterfly part, to the other side that we have sewed already. Then I'll insert this back to the machine. I'll insert this back to the machine and continue my stitching. Okay. Following that same line. Okay, so this is the outcome of our dress. But I'm going to take it one more time, okay, for more clarification. But as you can see, here there is no hole at the side. Okay, there is no hole. All right. So it's just very simple. When you are stitching it up inside, okay, when you are stitching it up inside, just make sure that after when you are stitching up at this end, when you reach at this end, make um, a tight stitch that we hold it firm so that it will not the rope won't use. Okay, then flip this this other way to continue here. The same thing you also apply when you are doing it at the down part. Same as the other side. And you will get it perfect. Okay, and you will get it perfect. So we now go ahead now to trace out the midpoint. Okay, trace the midpoint straight to this point to this point then we we'll make a hole here where the rope will pass through just get 1.25 is what i used then fold it into two and uh, stitch it up just get as long as you want it doesn't require any any uh, special length just what you want okay you just have to make a tiny hole where you can fix your rope. So just this way. And when you are open, when you are tearing up the, the opening, make sure that it doesn't uh, penetrate through the inside. Okay, just only the net, just only the fabric that you are sewing. So I'll just go ahead now to fix this. So I'll just do this round the dress. Okay, so this is it. And there's the back. What you just need is just for you to arrange it very well. And that's it all. So thank you so much for watching till the end. So we'll meet in my next class. Love you all. Bye.